Was April O'Neil originally white? Was April O'Neil originally black? Could white women have perms in the 80s? Can a non-black person critique this matter as it stands? Given now that the current iteration of April O'Neil is being portrayed as short, fat, and black. A bit of the opposite to that effect, given that most defire as skinny, white, and red-headed. Hello and welcome, it is I, back yet again with episode 3, and as you can see here, beautiful gray background, it's absolutely stunning, unplugged microphone, serves no purpose, you can cry about it. As the debate continues as to whether or not the identity of April O'Neil is such, was she originally black? Was she originally white? As the facts have stated now, that she was indeed white with a perm. That can happen. It was a different time. But the bigger question remains is that, can a non-white person critique this matter? As you look at me now, how do I look to you? Do I look black? Some would say I look Mexican. Truth be told, I am half and half. Half black and half white, that is. Can I fully identify as black and critique the matter and be okay? Will I receive pushback for such a thing? Only time will tell. Could you imagine a glass of milk? And if you were to pour chocolate sauce in said glass of milk, you stir it up, it becomes chocolate milk. Is that how I can identify my blackness? Is my blackness strong enough to override my whiteness, in which I can identify as 100% pure black and critique this matter with no pushback whatsoever? That is an important question. But this is where we are at now today with fandom. Rather silly, but it is what it is. That'll do it for this report. We give you the facts as straight as we can. Or a little. Can we identify the facts as straight? Do they need to be a little... I mean, the facts really don't seem to matter these days, so maybe it is a little. Is that offensive? I'm not trying to be. We're done.